A king airway consists of a curved tube with ventilation holes located between two inflatable balloon cuffs. Both cuffs are inflated using a single pilot balloon. The distal cuff seals the esophagus, while the proximal cuff is intended to seal the oropharynx. The connector is a standard 15 millimeter respiratory connector. The king comes in three sizes based on the height of the patient. A number three for those four to five feet, a number four for those five to six feet, and for the big dudes, a number five for those over six feet. The cuff is tested for leaks and the lubricant is applied to the beveled distal tip and the back of the tube. After being ventilated using a BVM device, the patient's head is placed in the sniffing position. The king is held with the dominant hand and the other hand is used to hold open the patient's mouth and apply a chin lift. With the king rotated laterally 45 to 90 degrees so that the blue orientation line is touching the corner of the mouth, introduce the tip into the mouth and advance behind the base of the tongue. As the tube passes under the tongue, rotate it back to midline so that the blue orientation line faces the chin. Without exerting excessive force, advance the tube until the base of the connector is aligned with the teeth or gums. Inflate the cuff using the correct amount of air. For a number three, 50 milliliters, four, 70 milliliters, and for the five, 80 milliliters. Confirm placement with auscultation of lung sounds and capnography.